Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're now in chapter 25 and there's 40 chapters in this book. So there's three more sections here as we come out to the end. There's kind of a section starting right here. And then there's the golden calf episode. And then there's the assembly of the sanctuary and everything gets rolling and the sanctuary service gets to start being there. So uh, right here, we're going to learn the instructions about the sanctuary. Let's take in the first seven verses. Here we go. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell the sons of Israel to raise a con contribution for me from every man whose heart moves him. You shall raise my contribution. This is the contribution which you shall raise from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, scarlet material, fine linen, goat hair, ram skins, dyed red, porpoise skins, acacia wood, oil for lighting, spices for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense, onyx stones and setting stones for the ephod and for the breastpiece. So we're going to stop there. And again, we're just kind of laying out because now we're going into a major bit here coming on through. Laying out some bits here about the sanctuary. I'm going to flash a picture of the sanctuary on the screen out of uh, Sarna's commentary. Just a few seconds of it there, just so you, we're going to come back to that. Uh, let's think, though, about what's going on with the sanctuary. Hamilton's Bible commentary on page 450, he says this, What we have in Exodus is that the tabernacle narrative is not an incident that exists by itself. It is part of a larger story, one that stretches from Genesis 1 to Exodus 40 and beyond. So he's saying that the sanctuary is a pivotal major piece. It's part of a larger story. Hamilton also points out that the sanctuary, the tabernacle here, is the, the major Old Testament bridgehead to the incarnation of Jesus in the New Testament. Because, of course, here we have the God It was on the mountain, and Moses had to go up to him, but now the mountain's moving to the people, and God's going to dwell with his people. So it's a pretty intense thing. Now, you'll remember at the beginning of the book of Exodus, the Israelites were building stuff for Pharaoh. They were forced to build it. They were building stuff they were forced to build. Now, in the last part of the book of Exodus, they've been delivered, and they're going to build something that they desire to build, the sanctuary so that God can dwell with them. I'll tell you something else that's coming, and we're not going to see it today, but the Sabbath, the seventh-day Sabbath, is mentioned again and again, and then it's very closely connected to the sanctuary, to the tabernacle, and maybe that's something some people have never seen before. But well, when we get to that, we'll talk about it. All right, so we've done little pieces of overview there, just some quick, but now let's get back to our text. So here we have verse 2. They're supposed to raise a contribution for him. So again, we have God here. He's making it possible for everybody. He's inviting everybody who would like to to contribute. But it's going to be free will. The people will make the contributions as they want to. So again, God's not forcing anybody. But those who would like to contribute to the building of the sanctuary, you know, we're, we're, we're ready to roll. You can help us. Here's another piece that's interesting here is this is an offering. that This isn't just for the tabernacle or the sanctuary. This is for God. These offerings are for God. They're to make a contribution for me. So then we have all these materials, and there's about 15 kinds, and they're put in different sections, right? You have first the, the metals, the, sil the gold, the silver, and, and so on all the way through. And we'll be probably looking at some of those things further on as we get into some of the more particulars. But here they're laid out. These are things that they want for the building construction of the sanctuary. God wants that, and he's calling on his people for it. And so there you have the ram skins dyed red and so on. So uh, we'll get into that. But anyway, God's going to make a sanctuary here. By the way, this isn't like a church building where the people are all going to come and, and uh, sit in pews or, or sit on the floor or something. This is a very, very different thing. We'll be getting into it here. But this has to do with how God can dwell, how a holy God can dwell with a people that have sin problems going on. Okay, so God's going to call them up higher to holiness and the sanctuary is really how God gets rid of sin. So we'll talk more about that as we go. Anyway, enough for now, just to get us started on this uh, very substantial, very important section, the book of Exodus. We have arrived here at the sanctuary or tabernacle. We'll say more about that as we go, and let's uh, see you tomorrow morning.